What is up, guys? Welcome back to another awesome episode of Aska. As you can see here in the screen behind me, we actually have Steam open. And that's because I, I kind of want to talk about this new update that just dropped. So I'm going to get out of the way and we'll take a look at it. Okay, so here we have the major update. It's the August major update, even though it just posted uh, <laughs> Friday, August 30th. Let's take a look at it really quick because uh, a lot of things here, I'm not going to go over everything. This is super long. So we got the big update, right? And we got a bunch of new things. And one of the major things is this custom world settings where we can change how often uh, the invasions happen or we can decrease them completely, turn them off. Uh, and also we can decrease the monster and animal presence, uh, influence the weather events and adjust landscape features. So there's a lot that goes into this and like the day, the year length, the day length, the climate, everything that goes into this, uh, is pretty awesome. And we have a new outhouse. Uh, we got a beauty pit. Uh, we got the metal part collector. We got, so we got a bunch of new stuff here. Um, the spiked walls, uh, they, they improved this new wall building system where they added new variants for various wall types and different angles. Uh, so this is something that I will talk about here in just a minute. They fixed some AI improvements, um, like this one here, the, the villager was sleeping under his bed and that sort of thing. So then this is a very long list of improvements and fixes. Again, I'm not going to read through this entire list. You can pause it and do so yourself. Uh, but it, it's it's pretty, pretty lengthy here. And uh, so, yeah, as you can see here, I actually have not played a look over here. Update queued. Let's get this out of the way. We'll go ahead and update this right now. So while it's updating behind me, I'm going to talk about what I want to do with this series, given this new update. See, right before the holiday weekend, the Labor Day weekend, I actually went on vacation and I played this really long session and I recorded it. And what I was planning on doing was kind of breaking it up into a couple of different episodes and uploading them when I got back from vacation through the holiday weekend. And then I saw this update and I'm like, okay, well, I, I kind of want to play with this update, but that means I believe starting all over again, which may not be a bad thing because I screwed up a lot in my first in that first couple of videos. So I'm thinking about just starting fr from scratch again. We'll still be Aska. We'll still make her look the same uh, and that sort of thing. But knowing what I know now, knowing what I can expect, having some of these customizations already hard baked into it, I think it's a great time just to, just to start over again, start fresh, and we'll run from here. I have, as you can see behind me here, I have uh, 29... Uh, t or excuse me, 21.9 hours. That's actually not a lot of time, but I've put a list. It feels like it's actually been a lot of time uh, given my other gameplays and, and stuff like that, uh, where I have five, 600 hours in some games um, and some even more. 21 doesn't seem like that much, but it, I've been playing this game a lot. It's like the only game I'm really excited about right now. So I, I love this game. It's awesome. So I'm, I'm amped to jump in and, and take a look at it. And you're going to come with me. Let's start over again. Uh, let's build this new world from scratch one more time. And we'll go from there. All right, here we are loaded back in. Let's go into the settings. Now, I haven't actually watched anything on this uh, new gameplay or anything like that. So let's see here. High tutorials. We'll leave that off. I had NPC tutorial, we'll leave that off. Uh, show intro video. Let's actually turn that on because I didn't show it the last time. So and show HUD controls. We're going to turn that off and just get them out of the way. Okay, apply changes. Yep. That's all great. That's all great. Okay, I was kind of looking for those, um, those world settings. So... That looks like our Aska right there. We'll go in the single player. We're just going to hit the new game. So here we have a problem. <laughs> we can do a normal game or we can do a custom game. I'm guessing the normal game is we can't change the weather and stuff like that. And I 
kind of want to do that. Let's check it out. Session two, that's our seed. We're going to generate a few of them like that. Perfect character Aska preset. That's fine. Here we go. World terrain aspect, rocky, normal, smooth. We'll go normal train height. We'll go varied. What's our other one? Flat. We'll go varied. Oh, we're definitely starting in the spring. Year length. Let's make them reduced. I want I want a little bit longer of a year. Yeah, we'll do r r yeah. We're going to make it more sunny than it is soggy. Day length. I want the days to be kind of long. We'll go extended structure decay low. <laughs> Okay, here in the difficulty tab, we have our monster density. Let's set that to low. Monster population, we'll leave that at medium. Um, yeah, uh, wolfar, low. Herbivores, high. Bears, way low. Bears suck. Bears are really bad. Um, let's see, invasion difficulty. Let's go easy. We'll continue to have the invasions. So right when I was recording that last little bit of the ones I'm I'm not going to keep, the other recordings I'm not going to keep, there was a pop-up that popped up. It said that the gods were going to test me in 23 days. And it said invasion in 23 days. And I was definitely not ready for that. <laughs> so um, I'm hoping that ha I like this aspect about the game. I like that there's monsters. I like that there's uh, things to fight. And there's a reason to build up a military, you know, and that sort of thing. And 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 have fighting tools, not just hunting tools, right? So I, I want there to be an invasion, but I don't want it to wipe out my settlement before it's built or while I'm having to rebuild in the, in the case of the last playthrough. So I'm going to keep this on easy. Oh, maybe I should go to medium. I think it's I think it's I think it's fun. I think it's a great aspect. I just don't want to to destroy my gameplay. So I don't know. So let's Viking. That'd be bad. Uh You know, I haven't experienced the in the invasion though. So you know what, let's just keep that on normal. We'll keep the... We'll turn that down. There we go. We'll, we'll keep that down. We got bears are low. I don't want... I want bears off. <laughs> A bear came through and wrecked me. Uh, it was bad. So bears are huge. Bad, bad creatures. Okay, so... Start. Yeah, Alright, here we go. In the days before, the gods gave us the spark of ambition, which lit the fires of creation. They gave us a world of our own, a home. They made us builders, warriors, legends. They gave us everything. But our hubris overcame us. We thought ourselves to be gods instead. We tore apart their memory. And so we were punished. Everyone, everything cast into the fire. It's some of us were spared. <laughs> to start again. Okay, here we are in our world. As you can see, it looks similar, but uh, a little different. Things are... Oh yeah, there's our big monster. Yeah, goodbye. All right. 
So, we're going to collect up a few things here. We're going to just explore, walk around a little bit, see what's around us. Um, we're going to leave these Odin, or these Jutan blood here. Uh, just, uh, they're, they're fine, they're not going anywhere. So we're just going to explore a little bit. It looks familiar, yet different, you know? So, I do need to find some stones really quick and make an axe before I see one of those, um, those creatures that float around that are made out of wood. No, I don't want, I don't want the reeds, I want the mussels. There we go. It's after the mussels. Just in case I get hungry. Perfect. Okay. So this is exciting. I'm, I'm excited to start over again, to be honest. Looks like there's a nice flat area right here. This might be a great spot to have our village. Yeah, oh, there's those wisps. You know, I really don't need those things. I should, probably should have turned them off. Can I turn them off? Let's find out. Uh, settings. Hi, tutorials on. There we go. Resume. Perfect. Okay. So, I need to find... Probably gotta make some rope here. We'll get some... some fiber. Just because I really don't want to come across something and only have my fist to defend myself with. Okay, so let's pull up the menu. We'll make some rope. Gonna need a stone blade. Perfect. Make a stone pickaxe. Oh, we need a stick and another stone blade. Okay. Let's find that. Those materials really quick. There's another stone. Couple, here's another stone right here. See, the more I explore, the more likely I'm, I'm going to run into one of those things that's going to try and attack me. Get some flax here. Need some sticks. There we go. There's some garlic. Perfect. Alright. Now let's build something here. Uh, we'll come in here and make that our stone blade. Come in here and make our stone axe. Perfect. So now I have number four. I can equip that. This is my axe. If I run across anything, I can smack them. And they will go down. Alright. So we do need to have a fire pit. That was like the very first thing it really wanted me to do. But before I do that, I would like to actually build a shelter and get a worker here to help me build. And so just looking around a little bit, and I'm, I'm not trying to jerk the camera around too much. Looks like there's a big tall hill here. We have those rat bunny things. It's like a great hillside for farming and and stuff on. Kind of open, not not horrible. Then we get into some deep woods over here. Could have made it flatter, I think. <laughs> the hills are pretty pretty tall, so. Not a big deal, though, I don't think. Climb up to the top of this one here. Just look around. Get that height. Can't really see too far, but... Yeah, so I think this is this little hillside, little valley right here. This will make a good spot for farms and a village and stuff. So, we're not going to build right on the shore again. I think actually maybe right around this rock might be a good spot. Actually, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to build a shelter right here. It's just a shelter. We'll pull up this one here. We'll go into the bushcraft. Um, I want to build a shelter. Uh, looks like I need some, some long sticks, some rope, some sticks, and some bark. So that means we have to start cutting down a tree. 
good thing that we have the ability to do that. That's a young fur. Can I chop that down that young fur? Yes, I can. Perfect. All right. Chop it up in little pieces. All right. So, I just realized, though, it, it's not... It wasn't lit up. I think it really wants me to build a campfire first. Yeah. Okay. So we'll, we'll build a campfire. I really didn't want to build a campfire. We'll build it right there. Okay. And then we can hopefully now build the shelter. Nope. We have to build the actual campfire. Okay. I think we can just upgrade this. Yes. Okay. We need sticks and stones. Sticks and stones. Cut down this tree. Hey, stones might be a problem here. <laughs> Not finding very many stones. I'm going to get a drink of water. Now keep in mind, I could start whacking away, make a, uh, a pickaxe, start whacking away at some of these Uten blood stone things. But, um, no, oh, an onion. I just want—I want to get a uh, builder to help me. So I don't have to do everything myself. Come down the water's edge, find lots of stones. That's great. Got some more. There's a stone right here. I thought I'd turn that thing off. That helpful wisp thing. Apparently not. There's a stone. I think I said I needed six of these things. How many do I have? I have five of them. Alright. I got one extra just for fun. I have a bird's nest there. I've got all sorts of things around here. I kind of like this this uh, this area a little bit more than the last one anyway. While it's really hilly, it's not horrible. You know, it's not very steep like we were having before. So. Alright. Go ahead and supply that. Perfect. Now we can build a shelter. Like I said, I'm just going to place it like up against this this uh, rock there. Okay. Now we have to make a hoe. Let's see. We need a wooden hoe. We need a stone blade and one more stick. I knew there was a reason I got extra stones. Oh, I didn't get enough. <laughs> All right. Well, let's cut down this tree. All right. Now we got some more sticks. Now we just got to find some stones. Uh, let's go this way this time. And we'll see if we can find any stones over here. Here we go. There's one. Perfect. All right. That's all we needed, I believe. We can make our tool. Oh, we have to make the stone blade. Here we go. Now we can make our wooden hoe. There we go. We'll level off this terrain here. Okay, we just need to grab a couple of these long sticks. I hear ya. Oh. Need one more of these things. Build it. Oh, I need a hammer. <laughs> I 
I'm like, I was pushing the button to build it, and nothing was happening. Uh, let's see, wooden hammer. Craft that really quick. Why, but we can with that. We're going to need some flax, some sticks, and some long sticks. Let's see, we'll just start. We'll do the close stuff first here. Perfect. Okay, now let's build some rope. Oh, let's just do that. There we go. Make five of them at a time. Perfect. And we should have some sticks. Uh, I don't remember how many we needed. We grabbed quite a few anyway. Let's um supply it. We need one more stick. That figures. Perfect. All right. Now we're going. Going a lot faster, obviously, this playthrough so far. I feel like. Because we are just trucking through this right now. There's no guessing what I need to do. I know how to do it all. Okay, we just need some bark now for the roof. Got a bunch of bark here. Push the, oh, push the right button to pick it up. There we go. Hey, okay. let's supply that and see what else we need. That's it. Great, now I have a place that I can come to if I needed to heal. And I have a place for our settler to, to be. Now, I'm going to come up here. I'm hoping that I can actually get up here for one. And two, I'd like to build the Eye of Odin right here. I think that'd be super cool on this rock. So, let's see if I can do it. It probably won't let me, but I'd like to. Let's go to Magic Eye of Odin Build. Yeah, it's not going to let me. <laughs> Darn it. All right. Well, can we place it in here? That would be all right, I guess, maybe. Sure, we can. All right. And we'll build these up. We need sticks, stones, and logs. All right, I'm just switching my plan up a little bit here. Let's see about making a pickaxe. Stone pickaxe. Uh, we need a couple of stones. Do I have enough to build it? No, I don't. I need to find one more. Then I'm going to start harvesting some of this Uten blood. And that'll also give me stones. So, there we go. Here's one. I don't got to go searching forever. And I'm going to need that Uten blood anyway. So, we'll just do that really quick. Craft. Perfect. Stone pickaxe. Oh, I need one more. Figures. <laughs> I got to find two more stones. Which I'm hoping to find relatively quickly here. Looking for a stone. Not having much luck with the stone. That's what I'm talking about. Busting down those... Um, busting those down. Those those Uten Blood stones. Okay, really? I need a stone. <laughs> Wow, look at this tree. This is an awesome tree. Almost like the tree of life. What are you going to tell me? Oh, let's find out. Yep, we got to build the Eye of Odin. This is a really cool tree. I like it. Does it have any stones around it? That'd be great. Check the map here. See where we're at. We're just over here. Here's our... Oh, that's our Wisdom Wisp. There's our... <laughs> there's our camp. What is that? Oh, our shipwreck. So this little clearing here is where that big tree is. That's super cool. Okay, cool. Let's keep going. Looking for a stone. There we go. I see a stone. Finally. Okay, let's build 
stone blade. And then we can build the stone pickaxe. Perfect. Now, we see a Uten blood. There's one right there. We can go whack away at it, get some Uten blood and some stones. We don't have to go hunting for them. That's going to take a minute. All right, that took entirely way too long. <laughs> I already picked up one of these while I was waiting for my stamina to regrow. So now we can pick up the rest of these stones. Perfect. There's another one. Pick it up. There we go. Now let's check our inventory. Oh, we got plenty of space, so let's get in, we're going to do it again right here. Get some of that flax. And we'll start whacking away at it. Right. That one gave us three. Pick them up. We'll pick up these small stones. Alright. Now that should have given us quite a bit. Let's check our inventory really quick. Yeah, we got we should have plenty now. And small sticks, we only have three. So we're gonna have to find some more small sticks on our way back to our camp. Pick up the flax when we see it. Alright, I should have everything necessary to build this. We'll see here. It's up here. Okay. And we need two large stones. That means we need to, let's, before we get too carried away here, let us dump some of this. Uh, we'll dump these off. Because we're going to harvest some more right now. Keep whacking away at it. All right. So, I got a splinter. Pick up this Uten blood. So, I think I will. There we go. Pick that up. Um, yeah, let's pick up these small. Well, we'll just leave them. We'll carry these large stones over here. The reason I left those small stones is I already have a bunch in my inventory. And. Once we get a builder, he'll come right over here. Oh, flex. And pick him up when he needs him. Right. This should do it. Get this built. We'll get a person here to help us. Start building the next thing. Start planning our village. Pick up our Uten blood. We'll go into here. We'll add five of them. Activate. All right. So stout constitution is less prone to the cold and sore throat. Um, he's also got steadfast resolve. This person has got springtime vitality and is a has bear power. Heavy hitter, heavy eater. I have increased strength, but I tend to eat more than the norm. I'm thinking that we should get the stout constitution because... Well, I don't know. Uh, it's a crapshoot. We can take either or. I'm going to go with this guy. Yeah. Confirm. Okay, so in 10 minutes, he'll show up, and we'll get him assigned. In the meantime, let's build more permanent housing. Uh, do I want to do that? We want to build water. We need a well. We'll build a water well right here. First, we're going to drink all the water out of it. I think this is the closest source of water we have here. While we're waiting on... Oh, there's a stone right there. Look at that. We'll pick it up. 
This is going to be kind of like the center of our village, I'm thinking. I think we'll have houses kind of along here. Probably a path straight down that way to the water will leave kind of open to the shipwreck. Um, and then just like shops and stuff along the sides. And kind of just spread out wherever we can fit them in. And farms and stuff where we can build them. So this looks like it's our closest source of water right here. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to build a water well. We have markers now. Basic production. We got the woodcutter's pit, stonecutter's pit, gatherer's pit. Uh, let's do, do, do. Rain collector. Oh, really? What do I need to do this? I must build the rain collector first. I, I dismantled this almost immediately from the last time. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. We'll just build it really quick. Needs long... Long sticks and short sticks. Alright. Now we can build... The water well. We'll do that right there. Need more sticks. So this... I'm going to come into the thing and I'm going to dismantle it. Yes. Collect the sticks. We need a bunch more, but that's a start. <laughs> now we have some uh, some logs right here too. Kind of booked out of the out of the wood there. All right, let's go find some sticks. All right, start building this thing up. Now our worker, when he shows up in 54 seconds. Uh, he will have a place to get his own water. And I'll have to worry about his hydration level. He's got a home. We'll assign him that home as soon as he shows up. And, you know, the next thing I think we need is honestly another person to be our gatherer. And that means that we need to build a gatherer's hut. But before we do that, I would like to build a, um, a better house. These shelters only sleep one and they they kind of suck so let's build another house if we can yet okay so I got to build a couple more huts first and that's kind of what I was thinking uh, let's see so we need some basic production we need a woodcutter's pit first we'll place it oh where should it go it should go near the forest we'll place it over here All right, here's a good spot. Kind of right there. Build the woodcutter's pit. We'll build all these things. And then we'll get some more people and better housing. We're not going to do a bunch of shelters like, we, like I did on the last playthrough. Big logs and little sticks. As soon as that guy shows up here in 26 seconds, he can help build these things and it'll go much faster. Basically, I will be cutting down the trees and he'll be building the structure. That's the plan, anyway. I have to leave and go forage for him to get food. We'll have to get somebody assigned to the gatherer's hut once it's built, which means more housing. Uh, we need sticks. Lots of sticks. I don't think I think I took all the sticks out of here. We cut down the forest. The uh, logger's not going to have anything to do by the time we get them. Should be arriving any time. There he is. Boom. Hi, Floki. All right, let's get to work. He's getting his water filled up. That's a good idea. Let's get our canteen filled up too. Take a drink while we're here. Eat some berries because we're getting hungry. Yeah, 
There we go. And Floki immediately went to work. He's gra gathering sticks. I got some sticks too I can throw in there. There we go. Start building it. So now we need... Is he taking a break? <laughs> Oh, I guess it's done. We just gotta assign somebody to it. So he doesn't have anything to do, so he's sitting down. Well, I think that's gonna do it for this episode. Uh, we're, we're starting again. It's awesome. I'm super excited. Uh, I like this world a little bit better, the layout, just from what I've seen so far. Um, not having to contend with monsters right off the bat is great. Um, I'm gonna try and not make the same mistakes as I did on the last playthrough. I think having the longer days and the longer years will benefit that as well. We can better prepare for winter when it comes, so we're not stuck in winter. Uh, so let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, and what, where should we take this? How should we build it? You let me know. Uh, I'm going to keep playing, and on the next episode, I will update you on my progress. Keep laying out the village and everything, and getting new people in. And just kind of just building up our village. With that being said, I hope you have a wonderful day. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.